welcome to F YouTube, one of the few places with a higher proportion of sad and unhappy people than online dating sites. Our first video this week is from a lovely bloke called Craig. I said a lovely bloke? F you. This Craig is a lovely bloke. Strangely enough, Craig is single, but someone's been leading him on. Log on to eHarmony.com.au and review all your matches for free. Craig went all the way through eHarmony's registration process. As we said before, it starts with a very detailed personality test, which is always a good sign. After that, eHarmony takes you straight to a payment page, and it's got all sorts of subscription options, but no obvious way to review all your matches for free. That made Craig think, Where are my free matches? I just spent three quarters of an hour doing some dodgy tests with the motivating belief in my heart that I can see my flipping matches. Now Craig found that it is possible to navigate to the matches page where along with constant upselling lures, he found this. Here are my matches, people. Unless I pay per month, this is all I get to see. So this is what eHarmony means when they say you can review your matches for free. If you actually want to view someone's photo or know anything else about them, you've got to pay. Now eHarmony says it's a privacy thing. They'd never reveal someone's private info unless they'd been paid first. Craig thinks that's dodgy, and we do too. If you want a relationship, it's important you're genuine and honest about yourself. Unlike eHarmony is with its customers, especially when it comes to automatically deducting money from their credit cards. Claire wasn't happy with eHarmony and decided to break it off with them after one subscription period, but discovered that they'd already taken money out of my account for a further three months when I don't want to be part of your service anymore. And they basically said, bad luck, um, we're not giving you a refund. eHarmony relies on disclosures like this when you sign up, but they don't clearly warn you when you need it before your credit cards auto slug with a renewal months later. Just because eHarmony says in the bottom of an email that you can make changes to your subscription service in fine print that doesn't provide customers with enough information to know that they are going to get money directly debited from their account. If you're single, new ways of meeting people can be useful, but remember to use protection, like the choice list of tips for safe, successful online dating. And it can work. Remember the nice Craig? His story did have a happy ending. Have a nice outcome. The limited information that eHarmony gave him was enough for Craig to meet the girl of his dreams. And not only did Chloe and Craig go on a date, they're now in a virtual relationship. On now to a slightly less common problem, mechanics who get shirty if you take advantage of a mention this website discount. It is a fairly specific phenomenon, limited actually just to Adam here. Now his mechanics website said this, and Adam was worried that in reality I would receive no such discount at all. If he mentioned the website up front, he thought the mechanic might bump up their labour price to wipe out the discount. So cleverly, he didn't raise it until he got the bill. And the mechanic said, Do you want to trick me? This prompted Adam to descend into, well, a psychotic spiral eerily reminiscent of Michael Douglas in Falling Down. <laughs> Just standing up for my rights. Super. You mechanics like fixing things? I'll, I'll give, give you something, something to fix. fix. Adam wants to know if he did anything wrong. Well, Adam, the Australian consumer law doesn't specifically address your actions. The criminal law does, and you're probably not 100% in the clear there. But businesses can be held to their representations and can't use unfair weasel words in the fine print to get out of them. So there you go, Adam. Please don't hurt us. On to other things that suck now, and Simon's not happy with Miele's High Clean Dust Bag for vacuum cleaners. It's a groundbreaking floor care innovation designed to be used once and thrown away. Simon doesn't like the self-closing dust trap because, well, because it works. I try to empty mince the bin, and they deliberately put fronds of material in there to stop you from pulling stuff out. I'm not sure about that, Simon. Those bags are easy to clean out. Anyway, Simon has an ingenious homespun solution. He says that if you cut through the dust trap threads, you can clean out the bags and reuse them. And when Simon says, you've got to do it. And it works, I guess, although I now understand people who just spend 20 bucks on clean, disposable bags. 
But product manufacturers also have something like that expert's incentive that Uwe Dulek talked about. It's good for business to have us buying proprietary accessories that need constant replacing. So remember, manufacturers aren't the only source of advice or ingenuity about their products. If issues like that matter to you, it's worth looking for alternative products or sources of information. <coughs> Thank you to everyone who sent us F YouTube videos and tip-offs. We're so grateful we'd like to buy you all a present, like the $10 gift voucher that Maya sent to Evan Davis. It lets you reward yourself with all the best brands, though there are a few minor exceptions. Excludes the purchase of gift cards, iTunes gift cards, Microsoft Xbox Live cards, Sony PlayStation Network cards, Alan Pincus, Alberta Ferretti, American Apparel, Amor, Antonio Verratti, Anthea Crawford, Arthur Gallen AG, apparently the whole of Balmain, whatever a benefit brow bar is and pretty room services, Ellery, Esprit, Feathers, Fizzler, Fleur Wood, Genuine Apple branded products and accessories, there is no way I can pronounce that one, Howard Showers, Hoss Entropia, Hugo Boss, not that 10 bucks is really going to help there, RM Williams, Rod and Gun, Roland Murray, Rosenthal, Royal Dalton, neither Sass nor Bide, Scan Pan Classic, Sea Folly, Smartbox, Soda Stream. Maybe they should have just said what isn't excluded. Yves Saint Laurent, Zoo Shoes, Hair and Beauty Salons, Beauty Rooms, Nail Bars and Health and Wellbeing Services, Optical Services, Photography Studios, Tailoring Alterations, Cafes and Restaurants and Sunglasses. Good night.